Well, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 169 of the Let's Play World. I've got a pretty exciting episode planned for today. One thing we're gonna do is we are gonna finish the floating builds. We've had floating castle atop a beanstalk, and we had floating islands on the wall of tasks for quite a while, so we're going to get both of those done today. The other thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna introduce you to another new character, but first, I want to start by talking about something I'm gonna call New Year, New Me. So as long as I've had this channel, I have had the same skin, and I have a fun idea for all of you. What I'm gonna do over the next three weeks is I'm gonna put up to a vote what my skin should look like going forward. And, you know, maybe we'll do it for a year, maybe we'll do it for half a year, maybe we'll do it till 1.21 comes out, who knows. But I think it'll be fun to change things up. So this is how it's going to go. This week I'm going to present you with two options. And on YouTube, we will have a poll so we can vote on those two options, and we'll come up with a winner. And then next week, I will give you two more options. Same thing, we'll do a poll on YouTube and we'll vote. And then the last week of the year, we will take those two winners and we'll put them up against each other and we'll see which one ends up being the champion. So right now, this is the skin I've had since I started the channel. And the two that we're going to vote on this week are either Old Todd or Clean Shaven Todd. So keep an eye out on YouTube for that poll. Make your voice known, what your opinion is, and next week, I'll let you know who won, and we'll vote on the next two. So between episodes, I've been growing a lot of cherry trees, because I want a fair amount of cherry wood to use in the castle at the top of this beanstalk that we're going to build. So I have a couple of blocks here just to show what I've been thinking about, so you can kind of see how cherry wood is pretty light, there are some other pink blocks that I think we might utilize as well. A little bit of pink wool, maybe. Um, the pink concrete is quite nice as far as a darker pink. I don't think I like the pink terracotta as much, although these two seem to sit better together than these two do. We'll just see how that goes. I do want to use a little bit of a mix just so we get a little bit of a gradiated look to kind of force some perspective. I don't think the castle is going to be all that big and so I want it to look like it's taller than it is. The other thing I did between episodes as you can see is sort of measure the things out. So I think this is how tall the beanstalk will be. There'll be a little bit of like a cloud at the top and then we'll have a castle on top of it. And I'm thinking the beanstalk is going to do a little bit of a snaky thing like that. So, you know just a little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. And then we've got the two colors of wool, so I think one of them I'll use the main stock, and the other one is kind of the, the tendrils. That's going to take some, some finagling. I'll figure that out. I also got a little bit more ambitious here, and as far as a floating island, I think I want to do one here, and then maybe a little one down here, and then this pointy island back here, I want to do one here as well. I think that'll make it feel real kind of cohesive, like there's something up here, like gravity doesn't work right. So that's the plan for today. I think I'm going to start with the floating islands because I think those will be a little bit easier, and then I'll work on sketching out this beanstalk.
Well, let's see how this thing turned out here. I've been kind of flying out and peeking at it. Not too bad. It's a little manufactured. Not bad. I don't know if I like this little lip here around the edge. I thought I would, but it looks a little weird, so I might fill in a little more of that. I think bone mealing the top helped out a bit. As far as the shape, I think it's okay. It's not, definitely not natural generation for Minecraft. I tried not to make it, you know, like perfectly symmetrical. I tried to just kind of fill it in as I went. This side doesn't look bad. It's just that other side with that lip. Looks a little too manufactured. But I think that's a, a good start. Took a lot of stone, believe it or not, and it's hollow. There's torches in there, so it's not a mob farm, but um, yeah, it it took a, a couple of stacks of stone. But let's keep plugging on and see how the next one goes. I do like that. Tried out a couple of like floating bits of gravel and things around it, see if that looked natural. And I did the same thing. I did a little bit of a lip on it, but it looks way better for some reason on this one. This one is almost big enough. I could put a tree on it or something, I think. I'll think about that. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out see if I can land oof right here perfect so next one is gonna be this guy over here and this one I want to be a little more pointy because this island is a little bit more pointy like a pro like I was saying maybe we'll put a tree on this one and then we'll work on this one Well, it turned out really good. I'm very pleased with the results. I'm really surprised, to be completely honest. Wasn't sure how it was gonna go or if they just look like you know, big blobs up in the sky. But look at them from a distance, they look pretty cool. I would love to do like more of these, but they're a little bit of a slog. You're just kind of stacking and stacking and stacking and, until it kind of looks right, but with the little gravel kind of floating in the air and the trees and everything, it looks really good. Let me show you what we've done here with this skinny one. I, again, wanted it to be skinny like the island that was floating over. And it looks great, right? A little different than this one over here. This one is a little more full and substantial. That one looks really cool as well. Very, very fun. Really pleased with how these turned out. 
And again, these were a viewer suggestion from Moresbane. These have been up on the wall of tasks for a long time. So thank you for being patient with me and hopefully they turned out all right. And speaking of viewer suggestions, we have this one to tackle. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is get a bunch of green wool and see if I can kind of flesh out something of a shape of a beanstalk. Okay, I'm not sure how wide this thing's gonna be, this beanstalk. I imagine it might be like eight or 10 blocks across, but I, I just don't know. And I know I want it to do a little bit of a S thing, but I also want it to kind of undulate forward and back a little bit. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's see, so this is going to come up like so, and then it'll come over a little bit. And maybe it wiggles backwards a little bit. Oh. And do those. Maybe this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is good to lie down and check it out, I guess. Okay, so got a little bit of a wiggle. About from this side. A little bit of a wiggle this way as well. I suppose that's a fine start. I guess the next thing I'm going to do is just start bulking it up a little bit until it's, you know, a thicker sort of stalk. See if it makes any sense at all. Um, hmm. You know, when I'm over there looking this way, this felt like a really great height. But now that I'm looking at it, it felt kind of short. But we'll just see. I'm going to keep working with it. If we need to go farther, we can. I'm going to see how that goes. While I'm working on that, I'm going to introduce you to our next character on the channel, and that's somebody named Redstone Roger. Hey, I'm Redstone Roger. I don't know everything about Redstone, but I know a lot. Problem seems to be with this 3x3 piston door. They got some skulk under the floor, and when you ring this bell, it's supposed to open. Nope. Skulk has come a long way since it was introduced, so let's go take a look. Well, there's your problem. What we got here is a skulk block that's doing some listening for vibrations. And then we got a comparator that's taking the frequency out of that. Now we've got another signal coming to the side of comparator, and it's comparing the two. Now if the signal coming from the skulk is equal to or less than this one, nothing happens. So what we got going on is it's listening for this Goldilocks sound right here. If it's just the right sound, it'll go out. If it's too much, then it comes around here and it'll lock this repeater right here. So we're just listening for a certain frequency, but it's just not doing it anymore. Other thing you'll notice is every little thing sits off this skulk block. Every time we move, every sound, skulk goes off. Let's go ahead and tear all this out because there's a much easier way to do it. There we go. Let's see if this dude has the stuff to make a calibrated skulk block. Oh, hey there. Here we go. Nice. Do one of these and you do some of those. Boom. The next thing we need to know is what frequency are we looking for? Easiest way to find out your frequency is set up some skulk, get a comparator to measure it, get some redstone, and then just give it a smack. So the frequency of the bell causes the skulk to put out a signal of 11. So if we send a signal of 11 into the calibrated skulk block, it'll only listen for the frequency of 11. So let's see if we can get a signal of 11 out of this. This dude's got a lot of stone. Six and a half stacks seems to do it. Okay, so our signal's gonna come in here. We're gonna take a measurement off the calibrated skulk block. We're gonna take a measurement off of our dropper. We're going to fill our dropper up with the stone. All right. Now this guy, because he's getting a signal of 11, only going to be listening for 11. So if I move around, nothing happens. We're good. But if I come up here and ring the bell, boom. It's just that easy. 
A, look how much cleaner this is, and B, we don't even need this carpet because the skulk can't hear our footsteps no more. And that's the magic of redstone. I'm gonna put this dude's floor back together. See ya. Well, Redstone Roger got our door fixed over at our old base, and if ever we have a big redstone project, we'll kick it over to him. Over here, I've just been stacking up green wool, and it's sort of looking kind of like a beanstalk. I'm hoping once I get the light green wool in there, kind of wrapping around it, that it'll look a little more deliberate. It definitely looks organic, you know, like a stem or something like that. I just don't see beanstalk quite yet. So I'm going to try the light green wool and see what we end up with. Well, it feels a little more organic. And if you kind of walk around it, you can see how these sort of spiral around. But at this scale, it's really tricky. If I back up a little bit, let me grab uh, some rockets and head over here. Once we get some distance, it looks a little better, right? You can kind of see the, the wrapping around it and the central core. I think I might do a couple of like little tendrils that are kind of coming off just to kind of sell that. And then I think I'm going to just have to feel good about it. If this was thicker and bigger, we could obviously get more detailed, but for the scale that we're at, I don't think it's, I don't think it's too bad. The other thing I want to do is like some roots down here to make it look a little bit more anchored. So that's the next thing I'm going to do is that and a couple of tendrils. Okay, I'm feeling much better about that. Some of those little curly cues, I think, really kind of sell it as a beanstalk. And the roots, um, not sure if they're big enough yet. I, when I was down there, I was like, those are too big. But I could actually probably do a little bit more there. And I think I want to start work on this cloud. I think I'm just going to make it kind of boxy to start off. I can kind of get a sense of how deep and tall it should be. And then we'll kind of taper some of the edges, make a little bit more pillowy after that. So there is the foundation of our cloud, and that is where the castle is going to be. So like I said, not a very big castle, but if we use some smart blocks, I think we can add some kind of scale and majesty to it. I think it'll look cool. And then once I've got the castle in there, we can kind of flesh out this cloud a little bit and make it look a little bit more wispy and all of that. Definitely need to light it up up there so we don't get all kinds of mobs spawning. And I think this project will be done. Okay, time for the big reveal. I'm pretty happy with it. I think the castle looks pretty cool. And I like the beanstalk. I love the floating islands. I'm not super happy with the cloud. So you'll have to give me some feedback. Or if you have some ideas on how to improve it, let me know what you're thinking. See it just kind of come into view. Looks cool, right? Definitely looks like a beanstalk. And that castle, with the, the scale and everything, it, it looks really good. Like I said, this cloud is a little weak. And I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I just need to make it bumpier. Not sure. These are great. They look really, really good. And I like how they each have a little bit of a different character. You know, they kind of fit their island. So you got the nice skinny one over here. And then these pair over here look really great. This I just did with pink blocks. I didn't have a lot of concrete and fortunately didn't need a lot. I just used it at the base, the darkest part. And when you get up close here, you can kind of see what's going on. Like it, it really is pretty uh, choppy. It's not very big, but the mix of the different pinks Definitely kind of make it feel like it's much bigger and much taller than it actually is. And I just sort of, you know, kind of based it loosely on the, the Disneyland castle. So you have this kind of outer wall, a little bit of an inner area with a slightly taller a peak on one side. Because it is too wide, um, there's not a single, you know, kind of centered spire. 
But again, when you have the the distance, I think it really kind of sells it as far as looking very tall. Yeah, it turned out great. I'm very happy with all of these projects. And again, these were all viewer suggestions. So if you have more viewer suggestions, I will definitely take them. And again, if you have ideas on how to improve this cloud, that's the only part of this that I think is a little flat. It's, it's just a little weak, missing something. Super cool. I'm going to go ahead and leave these pink trees here because I think they fit the theme really nicely. Hello, welcome to the island. And uh, yeah, weird project, right? Not my normal type of building. Neither was this. This was just a lot of kind of stacking blocks and uh, turned out great. Thank you again for the viewer suggestions. I really, really appreciate them. Keep them coming in and keep an eye out for the new year, new me vote. Let me know which skin you want to do for 2024. And I think that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.